Nathaniel Johnson and his dad, William, look at a picture taken in the Oromocto High School parking lot on Wednesday. A red truck flying the Confederate flag. Alerted to it, Nathaniel posted it. It just, like, it just blew up from there. Um, different individuals just started commenting um, certain things like Southern Pride and uh, the history of this flag doesn't mean anything um, besides redneck culture. For many, it symbolizes white supremacy and slavery. It's a symbol of racism to me. It's uh, similar to the to the swastika. It, it, it uh, I don't like it. And when I see it and when it's flaunted in front of me, uh, it, it, I get angry. There were over 300 comments posted on Facebook, both in disgust and in defense of it. William Johnson went to the high school to complain. OHS said in a written statement that it wasn't a student, the police were informed, and that the person was told to leave the school grounds. Johnson says he didn't want to just let it go. <laughs> it's just, that's never been, it's never been me. Uh, I, I, I've raised my kids to defend themselves. I've, we've talked, uh, we've always talked about it. It's been a part of their life. They're not only students, but they're black students. They're not only men, but they're black men. So they need to understand. <clears throat> they just need to know um, to be aware. So they're stronger, they're stronger each and every day. The driver is a recent graduate of OHS. We were unable to reach him, but his mother told us that the flag was flown with no racist intentions, that her son just likes the redneck culture. William Johnson hopes this raises awareness that for some people, it is not a symbol of cool rebellion. It is a symbol of hate and oppression. Catherine Harrop, CBC News, Fredericton.